too is. Yeah, you know, so I, I, so I've done a lot of work with Scratch. I'm really happy with Scratch. I helped design the my sixth grade computer science content became the first four weeks of the Berkeley Beauty and Joy of Computing course, one of the new computer science principles courses. And so I um, helped launch that course with Dan Garcia and Brian Harvey at Berkeley to have a Scratch-based, even though it's SNAP, Scratch-based programming language in the intro course at a college level. But I'm still not convinced, and, and I want to add another concern to the list of concerns. So one is transferability. What are they learning in Scratch that they're going to be able to transfer to other contexts? And the second one for me is confidence. Uh, because Scratch doesn't look like a programming language, it looks like a game. And that's mm -hmm. both advantageous in terms of drawing students in, but I worry about the extent to which that doesn't accurately build efficacy and belief in, their abil in students' ability that they can succeed in computer science. And so I've been doing some studies around this. So in 2009, I have a 2010 SIGC paper where I had sixth grade students program in Scratch and sixth grade students program in Logo. Um, and they did the same exact task, so they accomplished the same goals, but just using either language. Um, and the students who learned Logo did a lot worse on my assessment. So they just didn't have as firm of an understanding of conditionals and loops as the students in Scratch did. So for, for a population that doesn't feel comfortable typing, it was like Scratch was a clear winner in terms of my computer science learning goals for them of learning about conditionals and loops. But the students who learned Logo were much more confident in their ability to program. And it was statistically significant that they were more confident. They, you know, am I a good, like, am I good at programming? And the logo students thought they were. And so, this is um, this has been kind of an ongoing thing that I've been investigating in my research. So I have a paper. You know, what do they think Scratch is programming? What even do they think Scratch is programming? So one of my studies suggests that they think that the the picture from the Matrix where there's those green numbers streaming, <laughs> they think that's programming. You know, a lot of them rated that as definitely programming in a little um, a picture sorting task because they said it's co it looks complicated. And so um, I think it's really interesting with with a, working with a population, particularly young, like younger students who don't have a sense of what programming is, to say, you know, this is Scratch is programming, and here's what you're learning. And and I I tell them that a hundred times in my sixth grade summer camp, but they I think still don't believe me. And so I think so the the thing I've been doing in my scratch course to try and address this is they do scratch for twenty five hours, and then I give them a sheet that translate everything they've done in scratch into a version of logo. Mm -hmm. And I make them redo almost all of the assignments that they had just done in Scratch, but typing it in Logo. So they're, they're like, oh, yeah, well, I can just look at my Scratch code, and then I just type it in. It's, like, trivial, the change. And I want them to, to see how changing to a typed language, like, typed language, yeah. is, is, tri is a trivial difference between Scratch. But I think I haven't convinced them of that, because it looks like a game. <laughs> 